Hi friends. Hi friends. Welcome to Pebbles. We have some new and exciting stories for you. Watch carefully and you can learn as well as have some fun. Learning? Come on. I said fun learning. Okay. If there's no fun, I will leave right away. Hey, I'm your friend. A friend is like a family member and you should love your family. I'm sorry. That's better. It is important for family members to take care of each other. There are many ways to express your love. Have you ever helped your father and mother or brother and sister? Sometimes I do. Come on. Sometimes even a hug or kind words or even showing respect to elders shows your family that you love them. Hmm. I will remember that. We will see a story where a kid teaches his father a lesson. Love your family. In a village, Ram lived with his father. Father, you are too old. Why don't you sit quietly? No, son. What I'm saying is, please father, stay quiet. One day, Ram made arrangements to take his father out. Meantime, Ram's son came there. Father, where are you taking my grandfather? Son, I am taking him to the town. Please father, take me also with you. No son, your mother will cook your favorite dish. Stay back and enjoy. I will be back soon. Son, come in. I will give you the sweet your father bought yesterday. No mom, I will eat it when I am back. Father, please take me. Before Ram could speak, his son stood near the cart. What a hindrance! How am I going to manage? After covering a certain distance, Ram stopped in front of a graveyard. You both stay here. I will be back soon. Ram began to dig in one corner of the graveyard. A little later, his son joined him. Why have you come here? Hadn't I told you to stay with your grandfather? Go, go to him. What are you doing, father? Why don't you understand, son? I will come. You go. No, father. Please tell me. Can't you see I am digging? What for, father? Is something wrong? God, so many questions. I forced to tell him the truth. Listen, son, I am digging a grave for your grandfather. But he is alive. Yes, I know that. He is too sick and old and will not live long. So your mother and I felt there is no harm in burying him. Okay, father. After you finish, give me the spade. For what, my son? I too have to dig a grave. For whom? For you. For me? I don't understand. One day you too will become old. And I will dig a grave while you wait outside. Like grandfather is doing now. That is why I am making preparations beforehand. So that you won't have to wait. I will bring you and push you into the grave. What? You will bury me alive? Father, you are going to do same with the grandfather. I will follow the family tradition. Oh God! What a horrible act I was about to do! Son, you have opened my eyes. You have saved me from a great sin. Father, please forgive me. I will take care of you for the rest of your life. Ram took back his father to his home. Okay kids, now let's learn some words and their meanings. 
Hindrance The Art of Obstructing Graveyard A tract of land used for burials Spade A sturdy hand shovel I love my family and I will take care of them well. Along with that, you should help others too. You should develop this tendency from a young age. I have always helped my friends. Not only to friends, but even to strangers. Strangers? Yes, you will definitely be benefited by this. Maybe not now, but definitely in the future. Shall I help, even when it's not been asked? Yes. Sometimes people will not ask for help even though they need it. We must understand and help them. In this story, we will see how Geeta helps a stranger and she gets rewarded later in her life. Being helpful. A boy named Guna who lived in a village earned his living by hard work. He was a bright student. Today I am feeling thirsty and hungry. I don't even have enough money for my breakfast. The boy looked around and walked further. I feel drowsy. Let me ask in this house for a glass of water. The boy knocked the door. Yes, what do you want? Sister, I am feeling thirsty. Can I get a glass of water? Oh, poor boy. Please wait. The girl returned with a glass of milk. Take this milk. Thank you. Can I know your name, sister? Geeta. The boy left the place thanking her. Years rolled by. The boy became a famous doctor. One day, his assistant explained him about a peculiar case. Geeta, and she is from... I remember this name and place. I guess this patient must be the girl... Um, let me go and check. The moment doctor saw her, he recognized her. The same person who gave me the glass of milk. I will treat her. The doctor gave her the best treatment. Days passed. You are perfectly alright. You can go home by evening. Before that, I will send you the bill. Okay, doctor. In the evening, I guess the bill amount will be large. I have to manage somehow. When Geeta received the bill, she looked at the amount. Tears rolled down. At the bottom of the bill, it was written, Bill paid in full with a glass of milk. Geeta went to meet the doctor. Thank you, sir. But I don't even remember the incident. But you... You helped me that day for which I am grateful. This is the only way I can repay you. Take care of yourself. Peculiar Unique or specific to a person or thing. Treatment Care provided to improve a situation. Grateful Feeling or showing gratitude. Tell me, do you tease others? Yes. It's really fun to tease friends. And what about elders? Mm, sometimes. You should treat elders with respect. Sometimes, when people think or act differently from you, it does not mean that they are wrong. Treating people with respect will make the world a much better place to live in. We must try and listen to others and understand them. Sorry, I will remember this.
it's okay. I will now tell you a story about a king who learned this from an unfortunate man. Respecting others. Long time ago, in a village, there lived a person who was considered as an unlucky person. Get in! Can't you see him coming? Huh. Unlucky fellow, everything will go wrong if you see him in the morning. Yes, yes, you are right. Let's go in. Oh God, what will I do? These people are treating me badly for no fault of mine. The news about the unlucky man reached the king. I'm surprised. How can a man bring bad luck by merely seeing him? I need to test. Soldiers, bring him immediately. The man was brought before the king. Soldier, take care of him. He is our guest. Man, be comfortable. I'll see you in the morning. My fate will be decided tomorrow. Next day morning, the king woke up and went straight to the unlucky man's room. Good morning, my lord. Good morning. King left the place to take a stroll in the garden. Ah! Oh God, my leg! I have hurt my leg. Later in the afternoon, the king was waiting for his lunch when the cook informed the king. Forgive my lord, a lizard has fallen in the food. Please wait, we are cooking again. My whole day is spoiled. I got hurt and now I have to go hungry. Really that person is unlucky. If he is alive, he will bring unluck to those who see him in the morning. Who is there? I order that this man should be hanged tomorrow. The soldier informed the man about his death sentence. I know this will happen, but before that I would like to see our king. The soldier took him to the king. What is that you want to tell me? Quick! My lord, everyone says I bring unluck if they see me. But I saw your face in the morning and now I am going to be hanged. Now they will know who is more unlucky. What he says is correct. What a fool I am. Being a king, I must have treated him fairly. I will release you. You are free to go. Thank you, my lord. Comfortable Physical well-being or relief Lizard Long-bodied reptile with usually two pairs of legs and a tapering tail. Death sentence A sentence to be put to death for a capital crime. So, do you share your things with your brother, sister and friends? Never. Hmm. And how do you feel when they do the same to you and make you watch? I will feel bad. Hmm. So first of all, you have to change your behavior. You should treat the people just the way that you want to be treated. Will they be nice to me if I behave nicely? Why not? People will treat you in the same way that you treat them. I think you will understand better with this story. Treating everyone fairly Rupa was the only daughter to the village headman. Rupa was very beautiful and she was very much proud of her beauty. Ah! Nobody in this village is as beautiful as me. My dear daughter, come out. 
Your friend has come. Yes, father. I'm coming. Rupa, come let's go. Hey, why have you dressed like this? Can't you dress up better like me? You always treat everyone badly. I'm going. I will never come to see you again. Hey, hey. Don't get angry. Come, let's go. On their way, Rupa was passing comments about everyone. There lived a ugly poor man in the same village. Hey, don't take that road. You know that ugly man house is there. I don't want to take even a glance of him. Do not say that, Rupa. Whatever you say, I will not listen you in this matter. I hate that man. Rupa walked back. Days passed. One day, Rupa and her friend were talking near a riverside. Suddenly, Rupa fell into the river. Oh, she is drowning. Let me help her. The ugly man saved her and walked away. Rupa, Rupa, Rupa. Rupa slowly opened her eyes. Who saved me? The man whom you hate the most has saved your life. What? That ugly man has saved my life. Yes. Oh, how mean I was all these days. Come. Let's go and thank him. Oh, please forgive me and I thank you for saving my life. Please do not mention. Once again I thank you. See you. From that day, Rupa treated everyone equally. Glance. Take a brief look at Route An established line of travel Drowning Kill by submerging in water Hmm, I will be very kind to others from now on so that they treat me nicely. What will you do if you do something wrong? I will avoid them and move away. Why? Won't you say sorry? And what if they scream at me? When you understand your mistake and apologize, no one will scream at you. And even if they do, you must face it bravely. Sorry is really a magic word. It will make both of you happy. Learning to say sorry Once in a forest, a husband and a wife with their son were walking. Hurry up! We need to cross this forest before it gets dark. We are coming. We need to be careful. There are chances of thieves attacking us. Walk fast. Father, what will we do if they attack us? Don't worry about that. Your father will take care of it. You be careful. Yes, mother. As they were walking, Stop! I can hear some human voices. Ah, a family! So you should be having some valuables. Mm. Quick! Give us all the valuables you have or else we will kill you. Listen, we don't have anything. We, we have saved some money which we need very badly. Please spare us. Stop talking and do what we say. In the meantime, the boy was looking around and wanted to save his parents. Suddenly, the boy saw a big beehive on the top of a tree. The boy picked up a stone and threw it on a beehive. That's it. The bees started buzzing around and attacked the thieves. At the same moment, Come on, let's run. Come on, mother. Come on, father. All the three ran to a safe distance. The thieves, who never expected this, were hurt badly.
and cried out in pain. My brave boy, you are really brave, and your braveness has saved us and our hard work. Good, my dear. Okay, don't waste time. Let's go. All the three continued their journey. Double mind, lacking determination. Blame, attribute responsibility to. A shame, to shame or feel shame. I can face any situation. That's right. If we are brave, then we can face and overcome any situation. And make ourselves successful. Okay, I will attack my problems straight away. I didn't mean that. Even if you are brave, you need to be patient and wait for the right time. If you take advantage of your enemy's weakness, then no one can stop you. You will understand better with this story about the boy who fought the thieves. Being brave. A king named Shravan was very fond of hunting. Soldiers, make arrangements for a hunting trip tomorrow. As you say, my lord. Next day, the king started his journey. During hunting, many deer lost their lives. The moment king left the place, oh. Even today, we have lost many of our relatives. This has become routine. I will speak to the king regarding this. The next day, the deer met the king in the royal garden. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, king, I am here to ask you for a help. Proceed, king. You need not come to the forest for hunting. I will send one deer every week. You can hunt it in your garden. By this way, your desire for hunting will be fulfilled, and we will not lose many of our relatives and friends. Okay, sounds good. I agree to it. So, as decided, every week one deer was sent, and the king hunted the animal in the garden. Months rolled by. I think I'm early for hunting. Ah, here comes my prey. But the king was shocked when he saw the head of the deer. Hey, why are you here? Go back and send one of your subjects. Oh, king, today it's the turn of a pregnant doe. I cannot send her, and I have taken her place. So go ahead. What? You are ready to sacrifice your life for the sake of your subject? Yes, it's my duty to take care of them. The king was taken aback. I'm ashamed of my act. Please forgive me. I have learned my lesson. I release you all. You can roam anywhere in my kingdom, as nobody will hunt you. From today. Hunting is banned in my kingdom. Thank you, O oh generous king. Valuables, something of high value. Buzzing, noisy like the sound of a bee. Spare, refrain from harming. This earth is our home. It has given us a lot of good things like plants, animals, soil, minerals, and natural gases, and also water. But do we care for it? No. We just go on destructing it for our own sake. To destroy a thing is always easy when compared to creating it. Kids, we must love nature and also learn to protect it. In this story, you will see how King Amar destroys the forest for his own purpose. So, let's watch the story and firmly decide to save the nature.
लव नेचर अ स्मॉल किंगडम विच वॉज सराउंडेड बाय फॉरेस्ट वॉज रूल्ड बाय द किंग अमर किंग अमर वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ बिग पैलेस मिनिस्टर आई हैव एन आइडिया द पैलेस इज इन द स्टेज ऑफ कंप्लीशन I wish to decorate the interiors with only woods. My lord, we can, but we need tons of wood for that. Hmm, you are right. Let's think about it. Do you know the new palace of our king is going to be decorated with woods? Where will he get the woods? Should be importing. The next day, minister As you know our kingdom is surrounded by the forests best varieties of trees are in abundant why don't we slash down these trees but my lord destroying the forest is not advisable the reason uh, uh... minister do not advise me i know what to do and what not to do do as i say as you say my lord the minister ordered that all the best varieties of trees to be slashed down within a month the forests were destroyed and only few trees were left out my lord we have stocked all the wood and now we have to start our work go ahead since forests have been destroyed all the animals and birds have left and the place doesn't look lively without those beautiful birds i am afraid what is yet in store for us a year later my lord since we didn't receive enough rainfall this year there is famine in our kingdom i know with your permission i would like to tell you one thing this situation has arisen because uh, i know the reason it's my entire fault But how are we going to face the situation? Need not worry. We have enough stock of grains and cereals. Now all we need to do is to plant trees in the place of the old ones. Yes. You are right. Immediately do the arrangements. Within few days, new plants were planted. This is a lesson for us. We should see that we do not disturb or destroy the nature which helps us in many ways yes you are right we should love our nature import buying and bringing in goods from a foreign country abundant present in great quantity slash cut with sweeping strokes we all should love our motherland that is right every one of us should have a goal to keep our land free from bad elements i have always wanted to join the army hmm that's good but stick to your promise otherwise you land up in a situation like the minister in this story didn't he love his country no He betrayed his motherland for his greediness and he got a punishment for doing so. Love your land. In a village there lived a washerman. He had a donkey. Oh, I am not able to feed you properly. Do not worry. I will look out for a way. Days passed. The donkey without enough food began to grow thin. You are not even able to walk. Before dusk we need to cross this forest. As the man was walking, something caught his attention. Hey, look, a tiger skin. Let me take it. In some way it will be useful to us. The man continued his journey. How can I use this skin? Ha! Ah, hey look, your problem is solved. I'm going to cover your body with this skin and you will look like a tiger. In the midnight, 
go to our neighbor's field and fill your stomach every night donkey happily grazed the field day by day it regained his strength it was a full moon day the donkey as usual grazed the field suddenly it felt like singing and opened its mouth what noise is that oh i see a tiger what will i do now let me get the people for help but it doesn't sound like a tiger uh it's the donkey covered with the tiger skin wait i will thrash you the farmer thrashed the donkey and suffered heavy injuries oh poor being it's all because of me we should not act like others we need to be ourselves it will take months to heal cunning sly or shrewd unloyal not loyal to ditch a long narrow excavation in the earth i will join the army and even advise my friends to do so and if they don't agree then i will force them oh no look here are all my fingers the same no then how can someone else be the same like you everyone is different someone might be good at one thing which another cannot do that's true i cannot draw as good as my friends that's right if you force your decision on someone else then you can end up in a bad situation just like in this story being different sham who was a rich merchant had a servant gopal gopal is with me for many years i am really lucky to get such a loyal honest and hard working servant gopal also worked happily for his master radha it's time for me to leave for work where are you why are you still lying i am not feeling well even unable to get up you carry on i will manage okay ah gopal why do you look sad my wife is not well sir oh then why don't you take leave no problem sir she can manage days passed oh radha you are still not cured we need 500 rupees for your treatment as of now i don't have money only god has to help us the same day gopal while going home take this 500 rupees and money order it to my mother yes sir gopal started to post office in the evening 500 rupees if i take this money i can buy medicines for my wife i will send the money to her later gopal with double mind went home what is that disturbing you nothing i have made arrangements for your treatment how did you manage that uh, uh, i have arranged it no you better tell me the truth that uh, listen our master gave me this money to be sent to his mother oh my god and that money you have brought it here yes it's wrong dear i don't want to be treated with this money first thing in the morning you go to the post office next day gopal did as per his wife's word and then reached sham's house so please forgive me i'm sorry what are you saying gopal narrated everything i am to be blamed for this i should have helped him i feel ashamed gopal i am sorry 
you take this money and treat your wife and from this month your salary is increased by 500 rupees thus both realized their mistake and corrected themselves dusk the time of day immediately following sunset graze feed as in in a meadow or pasture thrash to beat hard thank god i'm with you and i learned a lot so do you believe in god yes of course everyone does hmm he is always with us he helps us and guides us in all walks of life I pray to him every day. How nice. We must thank him daily for all the good things that he has given us. He will give us strength and courage to face all the situations in our lives, just as he has helped these two friends in this story. Being with God Ram and Sham were friends. Ram was a pious person. Ram, every day you go to temple. What do you gain by that? Sham, you will realize the importance only if you come to the temple. I do not believe in all these things. A day will come for you to realize. Now come, let's go. Okay. As usual you will go to temple and we will meet in the office. Ram went to temple and Sham to office. This was their routine. One day Ram and Sham argued for a long time about the god. Stop Sham. Tomorrow you come with me to the temple and you will see the difference for yourself. Okay Ram, for your sake I will come with you. Next day both of them went to the temple. Okay, let's go. It's getting late. Wait for 5 minutes. I will finish my prayers and come. Hey, look there. Yes, it's crowded. What happened? Oh, A big tree has fallen in the middle of the road just 5 minutes back. By God's grace no one was hurt. Oh, thank God. Sham, look. Now you have to accept that God is with us. What are you saying? Yes. If you would not have come to the temple, you would have been on the spot. And who knows, you could have been hurt by that tree. Yes. Yes, you are right, Ram. With God's grace I am safe now. I realize my mistake. From tomorrow, let's go to the temple together. Thank, Thank you, you God for, for being, being with us. us. Pious expressing reverence for a deity. Argue to present reasons and arguments. Grace elegance and beauty of movement or expression saints say that work is god do you know the meaning of this okay let me explain god will not be happy if you leave all your responsibilities and just pray to him you must do your work first god helps only those who fulfill their duties towards their parents friends and others I love my parents and I obey them all the time. Hmm. You are a good girl. But the boy in this story understood this very late. Someone who cares. A mother and her son lived in a small village. My dear son, why don't you go for a walk? 
you are giving me a lot of trouble at this old age. As I am getting old, I am not able to work. Only you have to take care of our family. Come on, mother. There is still time for that. My friends are waiting for me. Let me go now. Bye. God, what will I do with this boy? Days passed. One day. Can I come in? Oh, my dear brother. Welcome. How are you? I am fine. How are you? Please be seated. Where is Venki? How is he? He is fine. But he does not work. Spends his father's money in wild parties and is neglecting the estate. If he does not reform, we will be ruined. I now rely on you. Please talk to him. You need not bother about this. I will take care of him. Meantime, Venki walked in and was pleased to see his uncle. Oh, uncle! When did you come? How are you? Ah, nice to see you, young man. Uncle, I am going to stay with you till you leave us. Good. Next day, Venki, will you please get me my towel? Yes, uncle. Here, your towel. Ah, you remember how strong and healthy I used to be. I do. I do indeed remember how you used to be. Huh. When I was young, I used to do all kind of hard work and help everyone. It was the moment of truth for him. What a great mistake I have done. My mother and all those who had looked after me have become old. And now it is my turn to look after them and to take on the responsibilities of the household and the community. From that day, Venki took good care of his mother and uncle. Estate Extensive landed property Household A social unit living together Community A group of people living in a particular local area. Do you know there are two weapons with the help of which we got freedom? Can you name them? Ahinsa and Satyagraha. Gandhiji taught us. Yes. Do you know the meaning of Ahinsa? Um, it will be better if you explain. Ahinsa is forgiveness for cruelty. Such a person can fight back, but he forgives his enemy and makes him realize his mistake by forgiving him. You can better understand this quality in this story. Ahinsa In a colony, there lived a group of boys who were friends. Every evening, they used to gather in the ground. Hey, Navin, let's play football today. Okay. Hey, look there. A new guy is coming. Yes, he's Ravi, my new neighbor. Oh, think he is coming here. Hi, Raghu. I would like to join you guys. Will you accept me in your group? Sure. Ravi, this is Navin. And Navin, this is Ravi. Welcome to our group. Thanks, Navin. But Navin wanted to play pranks with Ravi. The next evening, when Ravi came there, Navin purposely threw the ball on him. Ah! Ouch! It's all in the game. Come on, play! Next time, Naveen emptied Raghu's water bottle. Raghu, Naveen is always hurting me. I am going to give him back. Ravi, that's wrong. You should not do it. You wanted us to be your friends. So be nice to him and he will realize. The next evening... Naveen... My mom gave me these sweets. I wanted to share it with you. Come on. 
Are you not angry with me? I was, but I don't want to hurt you back. I want to be your friend. Sorry, Ravi. I will never do this again to you, and to anyone. This policy of forgiving is called ahinsa. Now, Navin, I believe from today onwards you will follow ahinsa. All the three became good friends and shared the sweets. Ahinsa, avoidance of violence, purposely, with intention. Prank, ridiculous act done for fun and amusement.